What do you get when you put an NPC and a tank together? Well, you get this thing. This is the KB-44, a Russian super tank that has more than enough artillery to wipe you off the face of the digital scape that is Gary's Mod. And you don't really have to look that far to really understand why that is. This thing is massive, and it's not a vehicle or an entity. This is an actual NPC with an NPC health bar, as you can tell in the top left corner. Now, even though you might think that that's not a very high number, I promise you, from some of my preemptive testing, this thing is nigh indestructible. So standard attacks like this crowbar hit are going to do nothing. In fact, your pistol is also going to do nothing. And guess what? Everything else is pretty much going to do nothing. This is another mini mod showcase. I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. Let's go ahead and dive into what makes this thing so powerful. Well, if it wasn't the fact that it has 20 million guns, it also has homing missiles that are very hard to dodge and a super cannon on the top that, well, why don't I just show you what it does? All right, so we're going to spawn some Odessas here to see exactly what it does before we get destroyed ourselves. Yeah, this thing ain't messing around. It only took a few shots, and I think one of those Odessa bodies is still flying somewhere. Now, what happens if we unleash it on ourselves? Well, you're going to see immediately that it's very loud. And also, we do get a few errors here and there. In fact, now, for some reason, he's being a little shy. All right, let's try that again. Yep, right when you spawn him, you're probably going to die. And if you respawn, just make sure to always be moving. Because if you do sprint and no clip, those are all the rockets he shoots at you. And you can tell that, well, thankfully, they're pretty easy to dodge. Although, that's because we're using no clip. If we were just walking... There's the missiles, and we died before they could come down, but what they do is they shoot up in the air, and then they lock onto you, and then come back down. Alright, so I know what you're thinking. Obviously, the trick to this is kind of like the Strider. We just gotta blow them up, right? That did nothing. So he's also immune to most explosives. There's the missiles, and as you can see, they home in on you, and you die. We don't stand a chance against this thing, so we're not even going to bother. But now the question is, what about admin guns? Because I know he's pretty impervious to bullets, but admin guns are kind of a whole new breed. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they still kill him like normal. All right, all right, all right. Now we're going to see if the Incredible Hulk can take down the giant KB-44. So just because I feel like this is not going to be a long fight, I'm going to do commentary over this. We can see the Hulk has jumped... Now, the Hulk is not unfamiliar with tanks. He has destroyed quite a few in his past, and this hopefully should be a little different. So we can see now he is running up. The KB hasn't really been able to get a good shot on him because the Hulk is pretty quick. Here's the Super Blast. And the Hulk got wrecked. All right, so that wasn't really all that fair just because he wasn't able to turn into the World Breaker Hulk. Now that he's able to finally fight back, we can see finally this thing is taking damage and the Hulk is well wait wait what huh all right my mind is being blown right now kind of like how Hulk's was okay that was a fluke we're gonna go ahead and move on into the gypsy danger pacific rim mech so I wanted to give them a decent distance apart just so they could use their ranged attack because they both do a really good ranged attack so let's go ahead and see how this goes all right, we got a few blasts from Gypsy Danger and a few rocket shoots from the KB or KV-44. Oh! <laughs> the tank literally shot him to the freaking moon. And that's really good for the tank because it's going to get a few shots on him. Wait, is he stuck? Pretty much shot him all the way into the skybox. Um... Also, you can tell, wow, he took a lot of damage. Let's see if we can bring him down. Okay, wow, that was insane. He was seriously stuck. But now I hope he can dodge in the air because he's already getting blasted. And, yep, before he could even hit the ground, we can see the tank came out on top. So it's important to note that just like most DRG NPCs, yes, you can take control of this thing and use all of its firepower at your disposal. So left click is going to shoot the front cannons as well as the main cannon. R is going to be your super cannon. 
I don't know exactly what that does, but it looks like it powers up your next attack. And judging by the NPC fights I've been seeing, it definitely makes a world of difference. Also, it's important to know you can press right click to pick the position for the rocket strike. Unfortunately, I cannot figure out how this works. I've clicked every button known to man, and it doesn't seem to really, um, work for me. But still, a very cool NPC, and one that is insanely powerful, so be careful when you use this thing. But also, I would love to know what NPCs you guys pit against this thing. Let me know your results down below if you do decide to fight this with other NPCs, because I feel like it's going to be a pretty epic duel. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching this until the end. Leave a like and subscribe. As always, all the links are down below. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and farewell.